Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. So sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Ida? Oh yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me. Oh yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. <laughs> Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in the DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? M maybe we can go without authorization this time. I mean, maybe we can just come to some kind of an arrangement. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Founder, Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. first. Far away. I Jesus. can see you, I then. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> we mustn't neglect anything. We have to study the smallest detail. I found it, Jody. Good job. Jody, I'm here. <laughs> I'll wait here. Jody. She may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe 
You shouldn't go in. Help me, Aiden. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! So take her quickly. Get the baby out of here. Consciousness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was my fault. What I did. so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that.
sorry, Jody. Most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Ethan, oh. it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why all the lies, Nathan? Those people pretending to be my parents. The DPA thought you needed a stable emotional environment. A home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life. Whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. Study me? Study me? What was I to you, Nathan? A little... Lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? L listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. Oh, I know nothing anymore. 
We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning, I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. Found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired, is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her up to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? They were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you up to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody.
According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infowar. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Our building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infraworld and make sure no one try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Shove them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. For the mission's sake, I'll try to keep Biden from killing you. But no promises. Well, we're off to a great start.